In the barren mountains of Balochistan, a powerful voice once echoed, the voice of Nawab Akbar Khan Bukti, a man whose life was marked by fierce loyalty to his people, uncompromising principles, and a vision for a free Baluchistan. Nawab Bukti was not just a political figure, he was a symbol of resistance, a leader whose legacy still influences the Baluch nationalist movement to this day. Born on July 12, 1927, Nawab Akbar Khan Bukti came from a long line of tribal leaders. He belonged to the powerful Bukti tribe of Baluchistan. Educated in Lahore and Oxford, he was a man of tradition, but with a modern perspective. As the Nawab of the Bukti tribe, he held immense sway over the political and social life of Baluchistan. Bukti's political career began early, and he quickly became a pivotal figure in Pakistani politics. He served in various capacities, including as the governor and chief minister of Baluchistan. But it was his commitment to the autonomy and rights of the Baluch people that made him a national figure and a threat to the Pakistan establishment. Baluchistan, rich in natural resources like gas and minerals, has long been exploited by the state. For Bukti, this exploitation symbolized the systemic oppression of his people. He believed that the people of Baluchistan deserved control over their resources and greater autonomy within Pakistan. The fight for Baluch rights came to a head in the 1970s, when Bukti openly opposed the central government's policies. This led to armed insurgencies and violent clashes. Bukti resistance placed him in direct conflict with Pakistan's military establishment. He was both a politician and a guerrilla fighter, leading his tribe in armed resistance. Bukti always said, our struggle is for the people of Baluchistan. The resources of our land belong to us, not to the elite sitting in Islamabad. Despite being labeled a rebel, a traitor, and even a terrorist by the Pakistani state, Bukti remained undeterred. His leadership grew, and he became the face of Baluch nationalism. His opposition to the construction of mega-projects like the Gwadar port, without adequate benefits for the local population, added fuel to the fire. In 2006, Bukti resistance culminated in tragedy. The Pakistan army launched a full-scale military operation in the mountainous region where Bukti had taken refuge. On August 26, 2006, Bukti was killed in a cave, marking the end of an era but igniting a new wave of insurgency and rebellion among the Bluch youth. Nawab Akbar Khan Bukti became a martyr for the Bluch cause. His death, rather than silencing the movement, fueled it further. Bukti's legacy as a nationalist leader who fought for his people's rights continues to inspire the struggle for Bluch autonomy. To this day, Nawab Bukti name reverberates through the hills and valleys of Baluchistan. His life was a testament to the spirit of a people who refused to be subdued, and his legacy remains a powerful symbol of resistance against oppression. After years of legal struggle and protest by Bluch nationalists, on July 11, 2012, a Pakistani anti-terrorism court in Sibi, Baluchistan issued arrest warrants for former military ruler Parvez Musharraf and several high-ranking officials implicated in the killing of Akbar Bukti. The officials named included former Prime Minister Shaukat Aziz, former Interior Minister Aftab Ahmad Sherpao, former Governor of Baluchistan Oves Ahmad Ghani, former Chief Minister of Baluchistan Jam Muhammad Yusuf, former Provincial Home Minister Shoaib No Sherwani, and former Deputy Commissioner Abdul Samad Lassi. All were suspects in the FIR lodged by the police concerning Bukti's death during the military operation. Musharraf was formally arrested by a police team from Baluchistan on June 13, 2013. However, he was later granted bail due to health issues and the lack of substantive evidence, leading to the investigation's abrupt end, which many viewed as a mere formality. The legacy of Nawab Akbar Khan Bukti continues to resonate with Bluch nationalists as the struggle for Bluch rights endures. Bukti once stated, we will not be there forever, but I am sure that our coming generations will continue my mission till the attainment of Bluch rights. In the wake of his death, this statement has proven to be prophetic as the Bluch people prepare to mark the 800th anniversary of Nawab Akbar Khan, Bukti death, on August 26th. It is essential that his efforts in advancing Bluch rights and unifying the Bluch nation are properly acknowledged. This occasion should also serve as a reminder to continue exposing the Pakistani government's role in his assassination. The story of Nawab Akbar Khan Bukti is not just the story of one man. It is the story of a people fighting for their identity, their land and their freedom. Nawab Akbar Khan Bukti legacy lives on, inspiring the ongoing fight for justice and freedom in Baluchistan. His story isn't just a chapter in history, it's a call to action that resonates today. If you found this story powerful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into the untold stories of resistance and leadership.